another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at Keats Fantasy Club, KFC. Uh, I guess that's the, that's the name of the, the release, the CST-01. Um, this is their first release. I don't know if there's their first actual release, I think they might did the evil versions first, but this is Rhino, aka Ramhorn, who was a cassette for Blaster. As you can see, he is deco like a cassette. You can see the reels in there and the little uh, painted reels on there. You do see the rhino head on the, he has a visible head syndrome right there. But it's cool, you got a side A, side B. Uh, it does fit in Soundwave and all the good, all that good stuff. Uh, I just didn't want to bring them all out. But yeah, there he is. He does also come with a uh, little cassette case, but I don't really feel a need to show that off. It's just a little micro cassette case, I don't even know. It's cool that they include it, but I don't know why, because I've never used them. But anyway, he's a really simple transformation. This is his, the first release that they did, so it is pretty simplistic. Um, you just fold out the head, fold up the horn. Um, I like to pop this out now, this is the tail. Come on. Come on. There we go. Can be a pain in the butt. Now you just want to literally split it in half. It does peg together um, right here. The grooves right there is pegged together. It does kind of make an awful cracking sound sometimes when you fold it in half, but then you have a hovering rhino. No. You fold out the feet, the legs, bing, bang, boom, bow. One, two, three, four. Flip out the feet. And that is all she wrote. That is him in his rhino mode. As you can see, he is you know very simple, but it's a nice little update to the G1 cassette. Um, his weapons are just molded in detail, and they're flush with the rest of the body. They do stick out a, eh, maybe a touch, but uh, they're not like the plug-in weapons that the G1 figure had. Uh, but he does have a nice bend to the neck, a bull joint at the head, which pops off a lot. Uh, just pop right back on. Actually, harder to get it on than it is to get it out. Um, the rhino horn tends to flop around a little bit. Oh, and also, his mouth does open. And I'm never gonna get it out. There we go. So it's not a little. That's not a bad little guy. Um, he is kind of sold out everywhere, but uh, you can find him if you look around. I found him from a, a private seller, not a private seller, but a, a small operation on Facebook. Um, good guy, you should actually check him out, Dub K Toys on uh, Facebook. Has really good prices on stuff. But uh, yeah, not a bad little guy. Uh, plastic, fault, cla bleh, bleh, bleh. plastic quality feels really nice, uh, just the joints aren't the best. Uh, mostly because the head pops off and the feet are just friction joints, they're not pins or anything like that, so they do a tendency to flop and sometimes fall off if you're screwing around with them, but nothing that nothing to be really worried about. The only real problem I have with him is he's very simple looking. You know, he's really just the cassette folded in half. You know, which isn't bad, it's just nothing crazy. It's not bad for a first release though. But there he is. He's hollow in the middle. So yeah, not bad. Um if you see him for a good price, pick him up. Especially if you like cassettes. So yeah, this is the video review for KFC's uh, Rhino.